This video will demonstrate NXP RT685 USB audio reference design developed by DSP Concepts. Here is a picture of the reference design with the RT685 EVK connected to the DSP Concepts 4 mic Trillium microphone array. The design includes the uh, DSP Concepts audio weaver running on uh, RT685 dual core architecture. Audio Weaver is a trusted audio development platform that provides a framework for uh, developers to easily design, develop, and uh, deploy embedded audio products rapidly into the market. Its uh, drag and drop graphical interface expedites uh, tuning and debugging of uh, audio processing modules in real time. The design also includes uh, DSP Concepts uh, Talk to Voice UI for uh, far field voice activation with uh, highly accurate trigger detection in um, real world noisy conditions. Before we go into the reference design, first let's look at some of the core features of the RT685 processor. RT685 is a dual core high performance microcontroller for embedded applications featuring an uh, ARM Cortex M33 CPU combined with uh, Cadence 10 Silica Hi-Fi 4 DSP. Both these cores make the processor suitable for uh, low latency, real-time voice and uh, audio applications. In addition, the chip also provides uh, high-speed USB connectivity and uh, extensive audio I.O. options including USB and uh, analog uh, I.O. Next, let's look at some of the core features of the audio reference design. First, it has audio we were running on both M33 and uh, Hi-Fi 4 core. This helps developers to evaluate multi-core real-time audio applications with the uh, audio viewer running parallelly on both cores. The Hi-Fi 4 core also integrates uh, DSP Concepts Talk to Voice UI, which provides uh, far-field voice activation uh, with uh, DSP Concepts advanced algorithms such as uh, adaptive interference canceller. These algorithms are optimized for the Hi-Fi 4 core, but they also uh, Alexa voice service qualified helping developers to seamlessly integrate Alexa into their products. The AVS uh, qualified algorithms enable developers to significantly reduce the certification costs and uh, time while they're uh, launching the products to the market. The design also supports uh, multiple USB audio modes, including uh, the ability to record, stream, and uh, playback via USB. In addition, the, the, the Cortex M33 core also has uh, some of uh, DSP Concepts uh, playback IP integrated on it. Talk to on the board includes several advanced algorithms, including the adaptive beamformer, which uh, accurately detects the user and uh, steers the beam in the direction of the user, irrespective of the angle at which the user is located relative to the device. And uh, uh, single channel noise reduction eliminates uh, stationary noises such as uh, fan noise or air conditioning noise that appear in a, in a living room scenario. Adaptive Interference Canceller eliminates uh, more complex interfering noises such as uh, music playing in the background when the user is talking to a sound bar or a smart speaker in a living room. The unique thing about the Adaptive Interference Canceller is that it does not require a reference signal uh, to cancel out the interfering noise. Our Echo Canceller allows uh, devices to play back at uh, high sound pressure levels while still accurately detecting the, the user's commands uh, during the music bar gene. All of these features make the RT685 reference design suitable for uh, USB audio and voice activation applications on uh, uh, PC cameras, speaker phones, headphones, as well as uh, audio mixers. In addition, the design can also be extended to support conference calling on uh, cameras and uh, speaker phones. The board comes with the RT685 evaluation board and the DSP Concepts uh, Trillium uh, for microphone array. DSP Concepts can also provide uh, additional microphone configurations such as uh, linear or uh, square mic arrays upon request. Additional documentation on uh, audio viewer and uh, training videos can also be found on our website. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate our uh, audio viewer running on uh, M33 as well as the Hi-Fi 4 uh, DSP core of the RT685 uh, design. So I have my uh, board connected uh, to my PC via USB and I also have my uh, uh, external speakers uh, connected via analog out on the RT685 uh, to demonstrate uh, playback. First, I'm going to go to my uh, sound settings here and uh, switch them to uh, RT685. Now to check if the board is uh, working as expected, I'm going to play some uh, music file loaded on my Audacity through the external speakers. To check on the microphone, I'll uh, try to record here on uh, Audacity. One, two, three. 
two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So far, we've been using the board in uh, standalone mode. In the rest of the video, I'm going to use Audio Weaver Designer to um, connect with the board and uh, see the audio routing between the M33 and the Hi-Fi 4 core. I'm on the Audio Weaver server window and to connect to the board, I'm going to hit uh, Target Change Connection. Select USB here and uh, hit Change. So now I'm uh, connected to the board and uh, the show menu where you will see the two different cores. One is the core 0 which is M33 and the core 1 which is uh, Hi-Fi 4. And as you switch between the cores, you can also see the profiling information here on, on the top and uh, some of the processor information on the bottom in the output panel. In this demo, I'm only going to use uh, two simple audio weaver design files, one for M33 and the other for Hi-Fi 4 and show the routing between the two cores. But the actual design integrates uh, audio IO and playback processing on M33 and uh, uh, talk to on the Hi-Fi 4. Now let's look at the M33 um, design file. On the left side here in the hardware module, you can see there are 12 channels and uh, the data is sampled at 48 kilohertz sample rate and the block size of uh, 48 samples. And on the top here uh, in blue, you can also see the, uh, the channel mapping on each of these uh, channels. So the going from uh, top to bottom the first two channels are uh, connected to the analog uh, line on the on the board and uh, uh, so this is basically connecting to the internal codec and the output from the codec is um, sent to the output of the design here and then uh, channels 3 and 4 are connected to usb left and right so channels 5 to 8 are uh, inputs from the the mic array which are then fed to the Hi-Fi 4 core uh, on the output side uh, and these are going to channels 5 to uh, 8 on the Hi-Fi 4. Channels 9 to 12 on the input side of M33 are coming from the, the Hi-Fi 4 channels uh, 1 to 4. One thing to note here is that uh, the M33 is doing all the audio IMO processing including the analog USB or mic uh, IMO and uh, sending or receiving information from Hi-Fi 4 whereas the Hi-Fi 4 core is only set up to send or receive information from M33. One of the advantages of Audio Weaver is its ability to debug the designs in real time using visual tools such as level meters and inspectors. So in this design here, you can see there are level meters set at each and every stage. So on the input stage here, there's a meter that shows all the 12 channels on display. So you can see on channels five to eight, uh, it, this is the input as I'm speaking that's going into the, the mic array. There are also meters set up at the analog inputs, the USB inputs, uh, the mic inputs, as well as the inputs that are coming from the Hi-Fi 4. Uh, similarly, I can also set up uh, inspectors that can function as uh, oscilloscopes to uh, display the signals in real time. So in this design, uh, there is one inspector at the bottom that is uh, routed to um, channel 4 which is the one of the mics on the array and uh, if I click on this inspector here uh, I can see the signal in real time as I am uh, speaking. Now let's look at the audio routing between M33 and Hi-Fi 4. To demonstrate that uh, I'm going to use my sine wave generator at the output of the codec to play a sine tone at the external speakers. Before that I want to set up my meters here so we can uh, visually see what's going on. I have my level meter on the mics which is showing uh, mics 1 to 4 on um, channels 5 to 8 of the M33 and on the Hi-Fi 4 I'm going to turn this meter on which will display the signals going on to the Hi-Fi 4. I'm going to activate my tone again. So now you can see um, channels uh, 5 to 8 on the M33 are being routed to channels 1 to 4 on the Hi-Fi 4 so you hear the tone playing on the Hi-Fi 4 and we can adjust the gain here so we can see it uh, in real time. Similarly, we can see the audio routed from uh, Hi-Fi 4 to M33. We can use this uh, sine wave generator to activate the tone and send a signal internally from the Hi-Fi 4 to the M33 core. I'm going to open this uh, meter which is showing a uh, channels 1 to 4 on the Hi-Fi 4 and on the M33 so these are uh, going into um, channels uh, 9 to 12 
we can also use the scalar on the hi fi 4 to uh, adjust the gains on the sign tone that we are playing and uh, be able to see the changes in real time as we as the output on the hi fi 4 uh, channel 1 changes here you can see the channel 9 input on the m33 is also changing so that concludes the demo to request a demo kit please visit our website at uh, dspconcepts.com thank you for watching